Hey, Don here. Okay, well, it looks like this is how we start a simple screen recorder. It's, uh, I'd just like to know that the audio is working and everything. Some indication that it's working. Well, and you've got the... Uh, it's too, you, you can see that it's recording and everything right there. Uh, but then to make sure that you're making a video, you, I always look over here and where my files being recorded. I do that with OBS too. <sighs> but uh, so it looks like it's working fine. So now I'm over here. I've got the uh, oh well, that's the OBS GitHub page. Here's their uh, OBSproject.com. This is their homepage. And uh, when I clicked on the Linux, that's how I got to the OBS. It actually took me straight to the Linux section of that page it's a long page and this is their uh, home page and it's got the features on it and uh, since i've been throat's getting all dry and hoarse i can't hardly talk i'm not gonna read those over and of course you've seen me working in if you watched any of these videos you've seen me using all this so it should give you a lot better idea than this you know but it does run in windows 7 through 10 so and mac os s or tim dot 11 plus <clears throat> i don't i've only been on mac machines a f very few times so i haven't kept track of mac stuff at all um i'll click on that again you see it takes you right to where it says linux and i'll leave that like it is now at the top of that same page it's got some instructions and then in the table of contents see it goes all the way through uh different uh, distros and it'll run on it, I was wondering if it'd run on Debane I'll have to try that on Debane in a laptop because maybe on Debane it would work yeah tried it in Windows and I think I tried it in Fedora on the laptop and it couldn't keep up but Debane is very lightweight so it might work on the on a dual core dual core laptop I don't think it'd run on a single core FreeBSD I've always you know, I learned about FreeBSD before I learned about Linux, and oddly enough, I was on Windows uh, AOL dial-up, and I left. And when I wanted to download a bunch of stuff, I would leave it on at night when everybody's in bed, and let it download. And um, because you was you was tying up the one and only phone line, you know. But anyway, I kept doing that for night after night until I got. I didn't know. I just thought I had never seen so much free software before in my life I loved free software you know for Windows and stuff and and operating systems and so I kept downloading I didn't know what to get so I got it all I got it was 10 gigabytes on that server I got it all <laughs> and I never did it was hard to figure out and of course I was used to being able to shoot from the hip figure out by just reading the read me files and do you know and kind of trying it out and Linux was a whole new thing and you and I you know you needed more than that to learn how to do it plus free BSD is it was and probably still I haven't tried it in a long time it uh, it, did, it was a much later at getting into having you know graphic desktops than uh, I think it had some at the time but they took a lot longer to develop them than uh, you know and adding them to the system to be work on the system than some of the same desktops but in Linux but anyway uh, my, my friend Bruce who's a programmer told me about it he told me I might like it so that's what got me to doing that and then I mentioned to him several months later, well, it was hard. And he said, well, you maybe you ought to try Linux, you know. And then I'm what? what's that, you know. And so I went and looked it up and never looked back uh, to Windows. So, um, I mean, I still use it some. But anyway, so here's the Linux section. And I'm skipping all that other because uh, it's so long I would just be rolling it faster than anybody. You just make your eyes roll. So, um Ubuntu, Arch, Manjaro, Fedora. It says Fedora installation unofficial. Unofficial. It says you need RPM Fusion, which I already have, and it gives you the commands to install or to set up RPM Fusion uh, repos in your Fedora system. And then it just says uh, this pulls all dependencies, including. Oh, including uh, NevNC enabled FFmpeg. Oh, okay. DNF install OBS Studio. Well, I was debating about whether I wanted to do this or go do it in uh, um, Dragora DNF for DNF. Used to, a lot of times it was especially 
well, this says it pulls it all, but a lot of times they would tell you in sites, you know, just run so-and-so. And then, uh, oh, by the way, you may need some dependencies. <coughs> and so you might be left to figure that out for yourself. Or they'd tell you what they were, but not how to, not the commands to install them. So it was usually easier to get in, you know, app, uh, app or, or, or uh, Gnome extender or, or DNF extender when even with that by that time. In <coughs> Fedora 23 was when I, I used DNF extender. And uh, and you look through the GUI and look and read and read the descriptions and see and find the things that way and install them. It, and because those graphic apps will, if there's any missing dependencies for whatever it is you're installing, it will find them and install them or else tell you and then you may, may decide what to do. I have another cough drop or else I ain't going to be able to finish t doing this talking. Ah, and for NVIDIA hardware, you need to make sure you have CUDA installed. Of course, it's been working for me, so I don't think, I don't even think I have an NVIDIA driver, but I'm going to look, you know, whatever they are. I think it's an Intel video chip. And for older ones, you need uh, XOR, X11, and uh, this one here. And then it tells you how to install it right there. That's for the CUDA, though. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's for Xorg X11 CUDA. Okay, so um, I know I have some um, hardware lister, hardware info reports. Let's see, AS Rock, Lenovo i5. That should be just what I need. I probably have more than one report, but that's not too old for 2618. That's this machine I'm on. I, I5 uh, 2400S. It's 2.5 gigahertz. Somewhere the it's four gig of memory. I don't know if it's going to say graphics. Yeah, Intel graphics. I915 graphics. So I don't have NVIDIA graphics on here. That's what I thought. Nothing NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Nothing NVIDIA on this machine. Okay. Sometimes you have an NVIDIA. Usually if you have an NVIDIA Ethernet, that AS Rock has NVIDIA Ethernet, and it's got one that wouldn't work with the 8300 processor and the NVIDIA onboard um, graphics driver um, so wouldn't work with it either. I kind of already saw when I searched for OBS in um, we already saw that in the previous video of what you know it was already I already what's going on if you haven't seen the other video um, previous video to this one is I uninstalled OBS because it keeps crashing every time I click start stream. It still records just perfectly. I tried everything under the sun, you know, changing, uh, taking out most most recent changes to my uh, profiles and everything and my settings and changing settings and watching videos and reading on the forms of uh, OBS and I, I only, I, I just couldn't figure out anything else and use well with Windows, I it, it was kind of kind of one of the first things you do is uninstall and reinstall. But with Linux, that usually doesn't help. It's usually a either something in your settings that there is a bug, but you can just change those settings back and it'll you know work. Or it is a bug either on the Fedora or Debian or whatever side of you know whatever distro you're running, or you, or a bug in the uh, you know program you're running so like OBS so anyway uh, yeah there wasn't much really in the way uh, to do with OBS in there and except for yeah well and running this command will get you I do did see that when I uninstalled OBS it uninstalled some um, let me go screencast I mean screenshots I think it was my last screenshot. 
Okay, that was when it was un just about done uninstalled. Now here's what it uninstalled. FFmpeg. I don't know if it, I think this is a separate, you know, like a, a version of FFmpeg installed with OBS, like in its folders, because I think I still have FFmpeg. Like, I don't know. I always thought it was installed globally for the whole system, but I have, I have a browser add on that says, you need to install FFmpeg. Well, I know I have it on here. I knew I had it using it, you know, I've used it for things. Um, but it is a back end program, you know. So, but I guess maybe they, what they do instead of it being installed globally for the whole system, it's installed whatever version is needed for whatever program you're using it with. And embed TLS, and then OBS Studio, OBS Studio Libs, and then uh, X264 encoder. That's what was uninstalled along with it. So that should get now get reinstalled. And, uh, Okay, yeah, that's the only screenshot I had. I didn't even make one of the what I was uninstalling. But, uh, yeah, I think if you just go to the apps, you won't find, yeah, FFmpeg, see. Because it's not a graphic app. I mean, there's some graphic front ends for it, but anyway. That tells me, let me check, yeah, everything looks good. So that tells me then that I, I, um, I think the safest bet th in this case is to go ahead and use the command. And I do ask you to get root privileges. And let's make sure I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to install OBS. I already have, it says you, you need uh, RPM Fusion. That's where it's at is in the RPM Fusion repos, but I already have that. If you didn't, you would want to run that command. I don't do sudo because I don't like it. <clears throat> it doesn't give you full root privileges. And with Fedora, your user is not put in the sudo words list by default, and, it, and you'd have to... Uh, sometimes you can use sudo and it's fine. Sometimes it'll say you're not in the sudo or list and it won't let you do it. But if you do uh, su for su uh, super use uh, su super user, you know, you get su su you get root privileges, full root privileges, or at least I have seen a couple things I couldn't do before. I think it might have been more se Linux stopping me though than uh, you know user privileges. Anyway, I'm going to run the command for installing it. And um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll see. It should tell every little thing that it does. And this time, I think I will watch. It's, I don't like to just sit and watch a, a blank screen waiting for something to happen, but. It's broken. I'm trying to fix it, so it's important to know what's happening. I mean, you shouldn't miss anything. You don't should be able to go back and see it later anyway. But I don't. I don't have any really thing else to show right now. <clears throat> I don't think. I thought that would be quicker than that. It's going to be thinking. Uh, getting it all. It'd be. I can't. I'm. T I'm getting tired. I can't. Let's see. Oh yeah, the NVIDIA hardware. No, we don't need to do that. And then yeah, that's it. Just this one command. And I did check and make sure what my uh, video drivers, because I had kind of started wondering. That was the only other problem that I saw people saying maybe it's something. Oh, there we go. It was something to do with your NVIDIA drivers. Okay, so there we go. OBS Studio, FFmpeg, <coughs> uh, Embed TLS. OBS Studio Libs and X264. Exactly everything I just took out. But maybe there was something wrong that this will fix. I uninstalled now and rebooted. Now I'm reinstalling. Why for yes? <coughs> I just rebooted to, uh, just in case. Probably didn't need to, but just in case something would wasn't going to be cleaned out till we rebooted after that uninstall. And yeah, I hope it works because boy, I love this program. I use it all the time, almost every day lately. 
when I'm when I'm, I've been working on my projects, rebuilding my web server, I'm gonna go back to building my mom's machine, and I don't just use the like this app's pretty cool that I'm using right now. I'm never I never knew about it before. I discovered it today. <clears throat> But it only does desktop. You know, you can't do cameras or anything like you do with OBS. <clears throat> and it's not a streaming. App. Well, actually, I did see on their page where they, they had like a comment section. It was sort of wasn't a forum. It was just a comment section. <laughs> Somebody said they figured out how to get it to work <clears throat> to stream to YouTube. So it would be possible. But they also said they wish they could save the file while they're streaming to YouTube. Sometimes your stream gets broken, and uh, that would uh, be rotten if you don't have a backup file. Because with OBS, you can stream and backup at the same file at the same time. And I've had to upload them, you know, more than once. There we go. We're getting an FFmpeg. <coughs> Embed TLS. OBS, XT64. Well, that was the downloads, I think. No, that was the installs. Yeah, running transaction check. I think they're in, yeah, installing. Yeah, it was installing. Now it's verifying. And it's not altogether not very big. Looks like the biggest file in there was, uh, <laughs> I think it's a FFmpeg. Uh, one point, oh, no. It was OBS Studio, 2.3 megabytes. That's the one beautiful thing about Linux. All these super powerful, beautiful graphic program, interface programs, look how small they are. <clears throat> and you can literally have 3,700 programs on your system without using up. Let's see, how big is that hard drive I had that on? My Fedora 14 system. I think, is it 320 gigabytes or... Uh, of course, that didn't fill it up. What filled it up was all my videos I made <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> okay, it's complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this output before I do anything else because uh, this, yeah, this terminal out, yeah, I have to do it that way. This terminal won't um, do it. Yeah, you save it. You can't save output as. There's another one. Well, a couple. Well, actually, there's another one. I need to figure out which one that is. Cause there's one called um, console with a K, but it has a limited number of characters that it can save. <clears throat> and so never know when it's going to save what you're doing and when it's not. And that's a KDE terminal app. And then there's another one I discovered, and I, there's so many different terminals, you know, for Linux. <clears throat> and I always have at least three just by the different groups I install. This one is uh, Mate Terminal. It's, it's, I like it. It works great, but it doesn't do that one thing. Sometimes I get in a little more detail so I'll know exactly which machine I'm doing that on. I'll just give it that name so that I can copy. Main reason I give that name at the top there is so that I can copy that uh, that name and put it in here in my file name. <clears throat> Text format. <clears throat> okay, now. Um, that was the only other thing. Then the rest, you know, yeah, the rest on that page is not about Fedora or anything. I was wondering if it would run on the Bane, and I saw that it's supposed to, so um, I don't. I just thought I need to reboot. I don't think so. I'm going to open it up. I had it open. Huh. <clears throat> what would the process be? 
as it's complete. I get worried about that because <laughs> now, because um, make sure everything looks like it's still working. I kind of just started from there, but I kind of didn't want to. I wanted to use the graphic, you know. Let's see, it should be in sound and video. Unless, if it's not in there, then maybe I do need to reboot. They don't really, the apps never, there it is, OBS. Apps never tell you when they need to be, oh, it put it back. That's where it was before, and it also, it put it in there twice. That's weird. Now I don't quite know what to do. I'm going to get rid of that one and put this one over there because I think that's the new one. I don't know that it matters, but, and I'll just leave it right next to a, a simple screen recorder. Now, I can open up the app. I know that from earlier <coughs> without uh, what is running. I think this time, I mean, the, the, I'm not having a problem with the icon not working. See, I don't know what the command would be. OBS dash studio or something. Let's see if it'll close now without a. I'm going to kill it. I don't. I think it'd be better to do that. Okay. In this case, it's not an update. <clears throat> Was it? I don't think so. It'd be bad if that's what it was. That's what happened last time. I, it, it did that, but that was not in May. <clears throat> that was in uh, XFCE. As far as I know, May always tells you when any updates are running. And besides, I was, well, I was closing the terminal. That's the first clue I got. And then finally, I couldn't figure out what it was. And I was just too tired. It was an I the update icon was up there like that, like where that is. <clears throat> and uh, saw it in the videos later because I was making videos at the time. And uh, and then when I tried to reboot, it said an application is running. You know, it didn't say what or what kind. And it made, I swear, I haven't done it in a long time, but it says the updates are running. Are you sure you want to, you know, reboot? Anyway, I broke a kernel, and I finally, I couldn't fix it. Finally figured out how to uninstall it. And so now, uh, that's on my Fedora 29 server. Now it's just skipping it. Uh, next update, next kernel update, it'll be past that kernel anyway. So it would have deleted it, you know. Anyway, I can run it, but I just don't want to try to record the desktop or anything with both of them at the same time. So I'm going to open OBS. I do want to try to stream, but, and I would like to try streaming. Now my mic is working because that's my lapel and I already had that plugged in and ready to go. <clears throat> Actually, I can turn on my SM58 <clears throat> because it's, I'm just muting it in OBS, you know. But the, it, and it, and when when it's not recording, it doesn't hurt. Now I think if I started recording, then it would either say it can't record or it would take it away from the other app. I don't know what would happen. I've tried it before with two des different desktop apps, and something like you know one of those things would happen. <clears throat> but uh, oh look, all my profiles are already there, so it didn't get rid of them. I don't know where they were saved. I probably should have went into the, well, that doesn't necessarily, I don't think my profiles were a problem, though. Let's look through them. I think it's going to be in the exact same situation it was before I uninstalled it and reinstalled it. So the profile folders, which I, I found them, <coughs> they're, um, uh, their dot uh, config OBS right there. That's where the the those and I backed them up, but I didn't expect them to stay, so I didn't bother to delete them. I should have went back and looked. <clears throat> Scenes right there and profiles. I should have went back and looked and seen that if I'd have seen that there were. I wanted it to clean, you know, seeing that they were still there, then I would have went ahead and deleted them. But if it works, I'll be glad I didn't do that. Let's 
so uh, cough drops finally finished. <clears throat> All right, well, I've already done it, and um, <laughs> it's actually pretty nice that they're not that they're not. The uh, <clears throat> only thing I did before. See, I'm not really paying attention. The only thing I did or uninstall it is I took out every Cam 1 audio <clears throat> stream because I thought, what if that's what's doing it? Cam 2. Yeah, Eric, it's just like it was. So if you're going to uninstall, if you <coughs> OBS, And you want to get rid of all the profiles to be safe, then you better go delete that folder, I guess. In Fedora, anyway. Fedora 28, or probably 29, too. But I don't think my problem was these profiles. I think it was something in the program, because, I, like I said, I worked heartily on these programs for three days, then went back to just recording for, a, I think, about several days, a week. Then I've been working on them three days again now. Well, I'll skip for one day and rest it. <clears throat> My voice has just had it too much. I tell you that. Let's go ahead and look in the settings. Let's see. Well, we can look in our profiles. Yeah, they're just exactly the same as they were. You can't look in the profiles while you're recording, but you can. You can do work. Look at the scenes and work with them while you're recording. Some of the settings you. <coughs> Some of the settings you um, can do and some you can't while you're recording. Yeah, let's look through them and see if any of that got... Yeah, even my YouTube settings are still there. Every single thing is just like it was, looks like. So, now if it doesn't work, I'll be... Uh, <clears throat> Still wondering if it's got something to do with any of these settings. See if my uh, shortcuts are still there. Yep. Cancel. <clears throat> now I would, <clears throat> I would like to, sh you know, hit start streaming in this video, but that'd give it a real good chance of screwing up too. Oh, I'm on the wrong one, and it's playing music. Good thing uh, that's not coming through to my. <clears throat> I'm almost certain it's not coming through <laughs> anyway. If that was coming through to my uh, desktop recording, that would really have messed things up. I don't think it does. I don't think this simple app does the. Uh, it only does the mic. I don't think it does the desktop. Let me turn that back on and find out. Hello. Yeah, that's just background noise. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I don't think it. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is uh, I'm going to stop this recording, and I think to be safe, <clears throat> although I see the mics are all fine, the desktop still might be captured by the other app. So I'm going to stop that, close that out, <clears throat> and. Uh, Stop this recording, and I'll have to just try it and take screenshots and then come back and report. <clears throat> okay, let's see. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Be back later.